The end of the park was built about 1887 by Russell Houston. Mr. Houston at the time was president of the Louisville, Nashville, the l &N Railroad. The first thing you notice when you come through the beautiful front doors is a large sweeping staircase from the second floor all the way down to the first floor. That staircase spatially takes up essentially a, a full room. Another example of how the architects and the owners often sacrificed functionality for features and looks. The important thing to them in building that staircase was not efficiency to get up and down stairs, it was to create a spectacle as you entered the building. Another interesting thing about this building is the woodwork in the various rooms. And each of those rooms are paneled or trimmed with a different uh, luxurious wood. Supposedly, back in the 1890s, not too long after the place was built, Annie Whipple was hired as a tutor for the children of the family. Supposedly, one of the children was deathly ill. So she was trying to contact the spirit of this doctor. She was conducting a kind of seance. The doctor who she thought would be able to cure this child had just died the day before, so she sort of reached out, tried to contact him on the other side. She went over to the corner of Park and 6th Street, just over one block from where she'd been living, um, and they met. Um, she met an old witch at this tree known as the Witch's Tree. The rogue spirit intercepted the messages and ended up killing Annie Whipple as a way of sort of teaching her a lesson for dabbling in the black arts. The guests that have stayed here have reported a, a number of different events and one of the guests that I had amongst this business group began explaining a certain thing that he saw on the second floor. He described it as a transparent woman. The other gentleman at the breakfast table, his eyes widened like saucers, and he said, that's what I saw. Guests have heard noises. The uh, most often repeated noise is the whirlpool tub in the master suite has been turned on in the middle of the night with no water running, no people in there. A woman has been seen coming down the sweeping stairway, dressed in what appeared to be Victorian garb of the 1880s and 90s era. The woman disappeared as she neared the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> 